this section we're going to talk about logarithmic integrals and those are integrals where we end up with a logarithm in the answer and they most of them look like one of the two following forms either we have du over u where again du is the derivative and u is some function or maybe it's 1 over u times du those are algebraically identical but both of those integrals end up as the natural log of the absolute value of u and this is probably the trickiest integral to remember because you start off with something that looks like a polynomial and you end up with a logarithm most of our other integrals if you start with a polynomial you end with a polynomial if you start with an exponential e to the u you end up with something that looks like e to the u but here you start with a polynomial and you end with a logarithm so you just have to uh, be careful so let's do some examples we'll start off simple we're going to start off with something that looks like <clears throat> a dx divided by 3x plus 12. We want to integrate that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to notice I have a fraction. So I'm going to, and the denominator is raised to the first power. I've got some quantity down there raised to the first power. So this is going to hopefully end up being a logarithm. And so I'm going to let the entire denominator, 3x plus 12, equal u. Then my du, or the derivative of u, is going to be 3 dx. And so now you have to look at your problem and see what you have. <clears throat> I have dx. That's great. What I don't have is I don't have the 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 3 in the numerator. So now I have 3 dx, which is exactly what I wanted for du. But if I multiply by 3 on the inside, I have to multiply by 1 third on the outside. And this integral becomes 1 third integral of du over u. And when you integrate that, you get 1 third natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And you can't leave it in terms of u you have to put it back in terms of x, so that's the natural log of the absolute value of 3x plus 12 plus c. Now the reason we need the absolute value is because if you look at the original equation, that's, uh, that has a 3x plus 12 in the denominator. And I'm allowed to put negative numbers in there. For example, I could put a negative 22 in for x, and that would be perfectly acceptable. But I cannot take the logarithm of a negative number. So if I tried to put a negative 22 in for x in my answer, I would get an error unless I put it in absolute value. And so the absolute value takes care of all of the negatives that might show up. So you have to have the absolute value. And a lot of times if you get it wrong in the homework, it's because you forgot to put the absolute value in there. So let's try a more complicated problem. Suppose we have something like this. Suppose we have the integral of, let's say, uh, x to the fifth plus 2 in the denominator and x to the fourth dx in the numerator. Now, because my denominator is more complicated than just one single variable raised to a power or something in parentheses raised to a power I'm going to try to integrate this as a natural log and if I do that I take the entire denominator and I set it equal to u and so u is going to be equal to x to the fifth plus two 
the derivative of u, du, is 5x to the fourth dx. Now, you have to check your problem. You can see what you have. I have x to the fourth dx already in the problem. What I don't have is I don't have the 5. And so what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply by 5 on the inside of the integral and multiply by 1 fifth on the outside so that I can integrate. And 5 times 1 fifth, of course, is 1. So if we replace everything with the appropriate u's and du's, the numerator, 5x to the fourth dx, well, that's exactly du. The denominator, x to the fifth plus 2, that's exactly u. And if I integrate this, I get 1 fifth natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And don't leave it in terms of u. You have to leave it in terms of the original variables. In this case, x. So I get 1 fifth natural log x to the fifth plus 2 and then plus c on the end of that. Now for both these examples, our du only had one term in it. Sometimes du is a little more complicated than that. So let's suppose we have an integral such as this one. Suppose we have the integral and in the top I'm going to have x squared times x plus 3 and in the bottom I'm going to have x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus 12. And I forgot my dx there in the numerator. <clears throat> now, in the numerator, I have two things multiplied together. And in the denominator, I just have x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus 12. I can't factor the denominator, so there's not going to be anything I can cancel here. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to multiply out the numerator and see what that looks like. So here I'm going to get x cubed plus 3x squared times dx. And in the bottom, I get x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus 12. Now, I would like this to be a logarithm, and so I'm going to try that. I'm going to say, well, if I let u equal the denominator, x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus 12, then the derivative of u is 4x cubed plus 12x squared times dx. Now, if you look at the problem we rewrote, what I have there is I have x cubed plus 3x squared times dx. What I'd like is I'd like 4x cubed plus 12x squared. And you'll notice that if they multiply by 4 in the numerator or factor out a 4 from my du, if I factor a 4 out of my du, I get x cubed plus 3x squared times dx. And so those two pieces match up exactly. And what I'm missing is I'm missing the 4. So if I multiply by 4 on the inside and 1 fourth on the outside, then I have exactly what I want. The numerator is exactly du. The denominator is exactly u, and I can take a very complicated looking integral, and I can turn it into one-fourth integral of du over u.
and that's one of the integrals that we have memorized. And so that's one fourth natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And again, you can't leave it in terms of u. You have to write it back in terms of the original variables, in this case x, and uh, u there was x to the fourth plus, sorry, plus 4x cubed minus 12. And don't forget your plus c. So sometimes with these logarithmic the u and the du are more obvious than others. But as long as you have all of the variables that you need, you can usually multiply by an appropriate number to make the numerator be du and the bottom to be u, and then you can integrate. This is uh, certainly the most complicated problem you would run into. That concludes this section.